In this video we're going to show you how to hook up a network switch to a common router. It could be a hardwired router or a Wi-Fi router and we're going to talk through some of the benefits of doing this. Right now you're looking at the back of a fairly typical router. As you probably know, the router is what makes sure that the traffic goes to the right device inside your home or your office. And this is pretty common of what routers look like on the back. It has all of these ports. There are RJ45 ports. And of course it has a power plug. Now, in order to connect a switch to a router, and the purpose of connecting a switch to a router is simply to expand the number of ports that you have in your network. See, in today's homes and homes of the future, more and more devices are internet connected or they're connected to our home network, which is the same thing essentially as being internet connected. So we need more hardwired ports. Now you might be asking yourself, yeah, well, why don't we just go wireless? Well, wireless is pretty easy. However, the problems with wireless are there could be interference in the house by having multiple wireless devices. The farther you get away from your wireless router, the, the weaker the signal, which means the slower uh, that the traffic goes to your device back and forth. And there are ways that you can fix that. But basically, Cat5 is fairly affordable to install. It's more stable and it's faster. So if you like to game or stream movies and you don't like to see that spinning buffer wheel, you might want to add a LAN switch to your home theater system or in your office so that you can connect more devices via hardwired. So the first thing you need to know is which port to connect the wire to and I'm going to demonstrate that now. Although you probably can't see this on your screen, one of these ports is labeled WAN, W-A-N, that stands for Wide Area Network. Do not use that jack to connect your LAN switch. You want to use one of the other ports. Now, sometimes the ports on a router are going to be what are called auto-sensing. In other words, you can use any port other than the WAN port. And sometimes the router is going to have what's called an uplink port, just like in the example you're seeing on your screen. Although you can't see the label, I can, and right there it says the word uplink. Go ahead and plug a Cat5 or Cat5e cable into that port. Now we're looking at the back side of a typical LAN switch. Again, all of the ports are RJ45 jacks. Sometimes, depending on the manufacturer and the model, every port is auto-sensing. That means you can select any port to plug your cable into. With this particular one, however, that's not the case. Although you can't see it on your screen, I can see it and one of the ports is labeled uplink. You want to locate that particular port and plug the other end of the Cat5 into that port. That's how you connect a LAN switch to a router and as you can see on your screen we've essentially doubled the number of hardwired ports this particular computer network will have. We've increased the speed and the stability of the network by using hardwired jacks as opposed to relying on Wi-Fi. Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. If you know anybody who can benefit from this information, please share the link. Visit our website. We have hundreds of articles on there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.